Nitrile rubber is a synthetic rubber copolymer of acrylonitrile and butadiene. It is used in several industries, from automotive and aeronautical to make fuel and oil handling hoses, seals, grommets, and self-sealing fuel tanks, to nuclear to make protective gloves. When combusted in a regenerative thermal oxidizer for air pollution control, the VOCs in the discharge stream produces NOx. During combustion, the majority of the acrylonitrile is converted to either nitric oxide or nitrogen dioxide but combustion kinetics favors formation of nitric oxide over nitrogen dioxide. The following is the standard combustion equation of equilonitrile into nitric oxide. The amount of carbon dioxide produced from combustion per pound of acrylonitrile in the discharge stream is most nearly A, 2.5, B, 2.0, C, 1.5, or D, 1.0. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. There's lots of concepts within this problem, but today we are focusing on how to balance chemical reactions. First of all, chemical reactions are like recipes in that the quantity and types of ingredients or reactants can be related to the quantity and type of cooked food or products formed. The formulas of the reactants and products cannot be changed. Only numbers that can be changed are the numbers indicating how many molecules or atoms, which are called coefficients. You cannot alter subscripts or charges. Lastly, balancing chemical reactions then allows one to determine stoichiometry calculations by understanding the ratio between reactants and or products. So there's various methods we can use to balance this chemical equation. The method we'll use today is what I call the OCHO method. OCHO is an acronym short for other constituents, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. This order essentially tells you which atoms to balance first. Now I'll be honest with you, this is one of the more difficult combustion equations to balance, but let's do it. So looking at this equation, Let's balance the nitrogen atoms first. There is one atom of each on both sides, so we are good with nitrogen. Now we'll focus on our carbon atoms. There's three on the left and one on the right, so we'll change the coefficient of the molecule on the right with the carbon molecule to three. We are now good with our carbon atoms. Let's move to the hydrogen atoms. There's three on the left and two on the right, so we will change the coefficient of both molecules so that both sides will both have the least common multiple of hydrogen atoms, which is six. So we'll put a coefficient of two in front of the acrylonitrile molecule and a coefficient of three in front of the water molecule. Lastly, we have our oxygen atoms. There's two on the left and 10 on the right. So we will change the coefficient of the oxygen molecule on the left to match the number of oxygen atoms on the right, which is five. So now we have 10 oxygen atoms on both sides. How do we look? We see that our nitrogen atoms are not balanced on both sides, so we will start over. There's two nitrogen atoms on the left, but only one on the right. So let's change the coefficient of the nitrogen oxide molecule from one to two. Our nitrogen atoms are now good. We look at the carbon atoms and they are unbalanced, so we can replace the three coefficient in front of the carbon dioxide with a six. We get to our hydrogen atoms and they are balanced. We get to our oxygen atoms and unfortunately, we now have 10 oxygen atoms on the left and 11 on the right. When you have a prime coefficient that you cannot divide into the other, you have to double all of your coefficients. So now we will start over our process and hopefully the third time's the charm. For nitrogen, we have four atoms on the left and the right. We have 12 carbon atoms on the left and 12 on the right. We have 12 hydrogen atoms on the left and 12 on the product side. We are balanced. For oxygen, we have 20 atoms on the left and 34 on the right. We can change our coefficient for the oxygen molecule on the left from 10 to 17. And now we are balanced for oxygen. How do we look? 
we are now balanced across the board. Four atoms of nitrogen, 12 atoms of carbon and hydrogen, and 34 atoms of oxygen on both sides. We're done balancing this equation, and now we can answer our original question. How many pounds of carbon dioxide will be produced from combustion per pound of acrylonitrile in the discharge stream? For every four molecules of acrylonitrile, we generate 12 molecules of carbon dioxide. Using the molecular weight of acrylonitrile and carbon dioxide as 53 and 44 respectively, let's do some quick math. We get a total of 2.49 pounds of carbon dioxide per pound of acrylonitrile combusted. This amount is closest to answer A. In another video post, I will discuss how you can use another method of balancing equations called the algebraic method. Use whichever way is more comfortable to you and you will get the same answer. Join us for episode 15 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks. Thank you.